is up. I hope you are having an amazing day, an amazing weekend. It is September. I am slowly transitioning into fall. It is amazing. And I recently talked to my mom about seasons. And I mentioned how much I love summer and how I feel so productive and I feel like I can get more stuff done in the summer. And she looked at me really kind of confused because I thought fall was your favorite season. And I was thinking about it. I was like, yeah, I love fall, but I love fall for the coziness and the baking and the, the just warmth that it brings. But then I was thinking more, so if I really love Christmas, or I really love winter because of Christmas and because of the family and just feeling happy and the, the Christmas cookies that you get to make. And, it is, and I, I just love that different warmth that Christmas brings. And then I love spring because it's bright and there are flowers and the sun comes back out and I just feel happy again. And as we were talking through all of the seasons, I started realizing I love every single season. <laughs> but I love every single season for different reasons because each season brings different kinds of happiness to me. So the more I was thinking about that, the more I was thinking about how we can have that same perspective with the different seasons that we have in our lives with God and how it doesn't matter what season you're in, God can bring something good out of it. And it's every season that you're going to go through is different, but you can still find the good in, in every season, whether it's a hard season, whether it's a good season, whether it's a challenging season, it is an easy season, <laughs> whatever it is we can still find the good and we can still find the joy in every season and we can still look at it with the perspective of what God is trying to bring out of it and what God is trying to show us in those seasons. And it can be really difficult when we're going through a really crappy season, <laughs> but I wanted to encourage you to, if you're going through a hard season or whatever season you're going through, to find the good in it and find the happiness and find the positivity that that season is bringing you or has brought you if you're just coming out of a season, especially one that was a little bit more difficult. And again, just encourage you to find that happiness and find that positive point that God gave you in that season. Even if it was a difficult season, the positivity can just be, I survived that season. God brought me out of that season. It showed me what not to do. It showed me what to look for in a bad situation. Um, something like that. And something, and something so small as finding just one point, one positive point in a negative season can turn that whole season around. And you can learn something from it. You can enjoy it. You can know what to do better in the next season that looks really similar to those difficult seasons. And it's, it really does just shift your whole perspective. So I just wanted to hop on here really fast and just give that little outlook um, because it's September, so we're moving into a new season of fall. I am so excited because of the baking and hopefully the weather will cool down because it is really hot in Southern California. Not as hot as like Arizona or any of those places, but for California, it's really hot. It's still like in the 90s. 90 something degree weather every day. Um, so I don't get like cozy fall season. So when it starts to finally cool down, I get really, really, really excited. Um, but like that, like finding just like that super small little joy that you can grab onto and hold onto makes you excited for the whole new season. And that is just the encouragement I want to spread through this video is finding that small little, what may seem insignificant, point of positivity really can shift your whole perspective and change everything for you in that season and I just wanted to share that so I hope you liked this video I hope it helps somebody I hope it encourages somebody um, if you're going through a hard season I understand we've all been through difficult seasons so I want you to know that you're not alone in going through a difficult season especially when it feels like it's a never-ending season and it feels like it's never going to end. Hence, never-ending, <sighs> Amanda. But genuinely, it does end, and God will pull you out of it, and God will make 
a beautiful thing come from it, even if you don't know what that beautiful thing is yet, it will happen. And I just want you to know that, and I want you to know that you are not alone. If you feel like you are alone, that is the enemy trying to distract you from the blessing because God would never, God doesn't allow us to go through difficulties without giving us a bigger blessing. So I want you to know that you're not alone. And I've said that a million times, but I really want you to get it in your head that you're not alone. Because <laughs> I've gone through that, where you feel like you're the only person going through something, and no one understands you, no one feels the same way, no one gets it, uh, but there are people who get it. I get it, um, even if I don't know who you are. But <laughs> I just wanted you to know that, and I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great season. If you're not keep pushing through, find that positivity, it's going to get better, I promise, God always brings you out, God always pulls through, God always brings you something better, even if you don't know what it is, and I will see you in my next video, bye.